Hi, I'm Ayo from Auto Factor NG, and today we'll be talking about the MILs, that is the malfunction indicator lights that we have in our cars. Your vehicle communicates to you through the MILs. Those are the malfunction indicator lights that we see on our dashboard. We have sensors that monitor certain parts of the vehicle, and when the sensors detect errors or detect faults, they relay that information to us through the dashboard or through the MIL. So we have the check engine light that tells you that you need to scan your vehicle to detect exactly what is wrong. We have the TPMS, that's the tire pressure monitoring sensor, that tells you that your tire is either not gauged or the TPMS is bad. We have your battery light that lets you know that either your alternator is not charging properly or your battery is bad. Whenever any of those happens, the battery light comes on. We also have your oil light. It lets you know when your oil level is low or when there's low pressure in the oil system. We have other lights that are not on here, such as the ABS lights. It lets you know when there's a fault with your ABS system. That's your anti-lock braking system. Yes, we also have another light called the engine temperature light that lets you know when your engine temperature has gone up and you know you need to park your car or turn up your car so that it cools down and find out what is causing that. Then your fuel indicator symbol. There's the one that lets you know when your fuel is low and there's the one that lets you know when your filler cap for your fuel is open so that you can go and close it. The seat belt reminder light comes on to remind you to put on your seat belt. The washer fluid indicator also comes on when your washer fluid is low so that you can fill it up so that you'll, you'll always have visibility. 